Whether you're a brand new youth flag football coach or you're looking for an edge, you got to get your hands on Coach D's Complete Coach Package. It is by far my most popular item yet. It'll give you everything you need to crush it this season as a complete coach, including all my playbooks, all my drill packs, 200 plays, 35 drills, 32 age-based practice schedules, and more. Go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com, click on the complete coach package, and get yours today. And make sure you subscribe to the Flag Football with Coach D YouTube channel so you never miss a video on defense, offense, plays, and more. Everything you need to crush it as a coach. Now let's jump into this week's video. Hey everyone, this is Coach D, and today we're talking rotation. How can I make sure that every player gets equal play? Now wait a second, coach. At what point do I say, uh-uh, I need to put this player in as the quarterback. This one's a wide receiver. This one's a running back. Man, I've got a, a linebacker right here, right? At what point do I start saying, at what age group do I take away the rotation and start thinking about, okay, let me put these in where they belong, at their strengths. Let's talk about it right here. Now the first thing that I do in my meet and greet, no matter what age group I'm looking at, is I want to establish an A and B team. I want to have equal, right? I want to find a QB, a QB. And I want to find equal, right? Equal skill sets so that I can have a nice scrimmage, let's say, by the end of that first 30 minutes, 45 minutes, right? At the beginning of that practice, the next week, I want to be able to have this nice team established. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for skill sets. So who can catch? Who's got an arm? Who's really, really fast? Those are the things I'm looking for. And then I start to break it down. And I actually will sit there and I'll start to build out my A and B team because for the first, I would say, even up to fifth grade, what you're going to do is you're going to have an A and a B team. A, let's say, is offense. B is going to be defense. So no matter how the, the coin flip goes, whether you're on offense or defense to start, you have that A and B squad. And then at halftime, you're going to switch. So then if, if B played offense the first half, now they're playing defense, etc. So I'm looking to make sure that they are equal. Right? I don't want to have this one stacked and then this one is terrible. Right? That, that's not going to work. That just makes everybody feel terrible. So that's what I'm looking for during my meet and greet. Now, here's what's going to start to happen. You're going to start to see that you have a quarterback. Now what do I do? Do I just switch them out just because? Absolutely not. At about 4th, 5th, and definitely 6th through 8th, I start having conversations with parents about, look, if we start to establish that there's a skill set, that this, this player has natural abilities as a running back, I'm going to put them into that position. And I'm going to start to develop that. And that might mean that other players might have to play different positions. Maybe they're more on, on defense. Maybe I find someone who is incredible at flag pulling. So I'm going to keep them as a linebacker right here at the front, right? And I'm going to keep on throwing them in there. So at about fourth or fifth grade, I start to tell parents, to, so everybody knows, that look, I'm looking for skilled players and I'm gonna develop that. Now, I also need to make sure that I'm not sitting people out. So, very real story. Right now, I'm coaching sixth through eighth. And I had a player that was on the bench for a, a couple of series, right? He was just on the bench. And the reason was is because he wasn't pulling flags, he wasn't trying as hard, so I put him out there. One of my leaders on my team, an eighth grader, came to me and said, hey, he's been on the bench, let's put him in. Awesome, let's do it. So I put him in as the center, and what he did is all of a sudden he found a nice little route right here called the hook, and man, he scored two touchdowns just like that. So you never know right so you never want to just have someone ride the bench but you want to be thoughtful about skilled players so meet and greet time i'm doing things like sprints i'm watching who can run the fastest that might be my running back 
or my deep safety. I'm also doing nice little, um, my five favorite routes. If you've ever seen that video, I do a post, a fly, an in, an out, and a quick slant just to see who has hands. I'm also usually doing a quarterback, right? I'm not throwing the ball. I've got a couple of people who say they can throw and I'm watching that. What does that look like, right? So those are things I'm looking for. I do a nice cutting drill. I do a, what we call the centipede, so that I can see what do they look like one-on-one, -on -one, who's breaking down, who's really trying. Those are the things I'm looking for. And as I look for that, I start to establish an A and B team. And definitely up to fourth, probably fifth grade, I am building this out, and they usually really like to stick with this. Hey, do you guys like being with that team, absolutely, okay? So they know what's going on, they know what's expected. Now, right now, sixth to eighth, I have an A and B team. But what I'm also doing is I'm on the sideline watching. And if I see someone's like, eh, not feeling it, I'm pulling them out. Maybe it's a couple plays, but I'm rotating out. At that age, they should get it. I've got two quarterbacks, but if one's not feeling it, I might pull them for a minute, right? For whatever reason, and then put them back in. So it's okay to be on the sideline, definitely at six through eight, and be subbing people out, right? If somebody's hot, I'm gonna leave them in. So those are little things that you wanna start to kind of figure out, but it all starts with a base foundation of your A and your B squad. All right, so let's recap. At around fourth or fifth grade, I start to look for skilled players and I start having conversations with parents that I'm going to be putting some energy into, if that's a quarterback right there, I'm gonna put them in a little bit more as quarterback. I'm not gonna rotate a, you know, somebody who's, who's, let's say a running back into quarterback just so that they can get a natural rotation. That's not gonna happen. So I'd be, I'm very clear about that with my, my parents. Once I start to establish that, okay, I've got a nice A and B team, I'm okay, probably at fourth, fifth, definitely at sixth through eighth, I'm rotating in on the fly. Bobby, come out. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Excellent job, let's go. Zach, you come in. All right, Sammy, come here. Right, that's okay. You're okay with that as long as you have a nice structure and it's established and you know why you're doing it, all right? On defense, we all know, usually you have linebackers here at the front. These are always gonna be your, your, um, your flag pullers here at the front, right? About three to five yards off. And then you have back here, usually have cornerbacks that are somewhat fast right and they can stay in their zones and then you have your speedster sometimes in the middle that's your safety that's your speedster who can go all the way across the field can do pretty much it all right so as you start to establish okay that that person should like live right here that's okay to keep them in that position all right so i wanted to give you just this outline if you have specific questions or instances where you're like what should i do here or there put that in the comments and i'll answer that right away but it's all about communication with the parents with the kids and the last thing i would say is if a kid keeps saying i want the ball i want to play i want to do this i establish right up front i will be calling who's playing which position i will tell you if you come to me over and over, I want, I want, I want. Nope, it's not gonna happen. So I'm the coach, I'll be making those decisions, and that's it, right? You have to establish that up front, otherwise they're gonna be all over. Please, can I do this, can I do that? No, absolutely not. All right, so A and B group during your meet and greet, and then start doing skilled players as they get a little bit older. I hope that helps. Look, get some this season. This is Coach D. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, share, do it all. If you need plays, you know where to find them. Go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. We now have a boot camp, which is me out on the field like this, walking you through over 30 exclusive videos exclusive right and then we have our memberships our memberships are so awesome it's ongoing support we have a complete coach community you can join that as well and then of course if you haven't grabbed it already make sure you grab the complete 
coach package. It has over 200 plays, 32 practices, 35 drills, so much more. Everybody loves it. Go ahead and grab that no matter what. I'll see you out on the field and in the next video. Take care.